Welcome back to Victoria's Kitchen guys. Today, you can tell I'm not in the kitchen or in the red chairs. I'm in beautiful downtown Charlotte. And I wanted to talk to y'all about how we can help in our community. So, have you ever thought about when you sit down for a meal that someone else doesn't have one? Or when you get a fresh new pair of shoes for school? so ready to wear them, but someone doesn't even have shoes. Oh, and here's a good one. Or when your mom tells you to clean your room and you don't want to, well, do it. Because there's some people that don't even have a room or anything to clean. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly Lights out. Good night. and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. It's like in that clip, everything isn't always what it seems. While well, recording this video, I was gonna sit down on a park bench and tell you a story, but I, I couldn't because there was none available. They were all taken. <laughs> we don't have any pets. That was just our friend Kendrick <laughs> making pet noises. Yeah. 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 So what are we making today? So we are making an Asian noodle bowl with some uh, apple roses with caramel sauce and some crab ragu. All right. You ready to do this? <laughs> yeah. You ready to do this? Yeah. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. Oh, she said yeah like 15 times. Putting it down. Look, we, we've got a, a chef's assistant over here that is doing a fabulous job cutting that garlic. It's not my day job. It's not my day job. You can't tell. <laughs> yeah, you can tell. <laughs> Look at all those fresh veggies. We're about to get the Mongolian sauce going. And let's let's take a, a peek at the apple roses. Hania, how are you, darling? Oh, I'm good. Are you doing wonderful, darling? <laughs> Looking fabulous, my love. Thank you. Look at these. Oh, they are so beautiful. They're going to be delicious. She's getting that egg wash on there. You know, we should narrate it like, like golf. No, she's getting that egg wash. Okay, so gorgeous looking really nice. So fresh, so fresh. Look at amazing. So fresh and so clean, clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. We're done. We're done. We're really, really yes, done. Very done. <laughs> She's calling us down in her mouth. Yes. Yes, she, yes, she is. Done. Right now. How are you, sir? Man. And I'm taking videos. I'm telling you, I wouldn't yeah, go for that indeed. if I was you, Kendrick. I'd quit I right now if I was you. No, just, <laughs> just make me appreciate my Monday job. There you go. Daddy.
just wanted to talk to y'all about uh, what we got into this morning. So we yeah. volunteered this morning at, where do we volunteer? Bed for Kids. Beds for Kids. Yeah. And what do they do? Chef. They um, get furniture from like, um, donated furniture. And, well, well, well they get the donated furniture. Yeah, just had a brain fire. <laughs> they get donated furniture and they fix up uh, the furniture and clean it and then give it to um, families that um, families in their houses that don't have like a table um, and they just came from being homeless to have a Yep, so, uh, so it's really awesome and uh, you know I just wanted to kind of say to all of my friends out there that um, you know we all have our things we go through we all have a, have our struggles but this morning um, it really it really touched my heart um, just how hard we work today painting furniture staining furniture cleaning moving furniture. furniture moving furniture it was so awesome and it was to provide a life for a child like the basic necessities you know thinking about having a home without a kitchen table you know how demoralizing that is you know having a house without a bed you know you're sleeping on the floor and the floor is the same place you eat the floor is the same place you walk on um it's those little things that we take for granted and i just wanted to share with you guys um that sometimes like i said we all have our struggles we all have things we're going through but sometimes when you're down the best thing you could do is do something for someone else. Um, it kind of takes that focus off yourself, right, Gracia? Yeah. You know, um, I remember, I'll never forget one of my lowest, lowest moments. Um, it, it was just, it was a really bad day. Um, things were really falling apart at my house. And that was the same day I was supposed to start working at the Samaritan house, um, making meals. And I really wanted to cancel. I didn't want to go um, because I was, my house was just not in order. where I had to go in and cook for the residents and see them smile and interact with them and, and show them love and they showed me love. It took my mind away from my situation and it blessed me. And it blessed my family because I was blessed. Um, and I'll never forget that moment, um, you know, that I had there. And it never ended. I mean, I haven't been there in a while, um, but I look to go back here pretty soon. But days like today where you know I'm a little sad that Kenny left and stuff like that but we went out and, and, and did that volunteer work and we enjoyed it and our minds weren't sad thinking about Kenny or we weren't thinking, we weren't thinking about bills or, or, or things that were due all we were thinking about was blessing somebody else so I wanted to just tell you guys out there if you're going through something um, just take your mind off yourself for a minute you know and put your mind on someone else um, get out there and do something. You know, we all have a talent. We all have a gift. Maybe your gifting isn't to go and cook in a shelter or uh, clean furniture. Maybe your gift is volunteer work at the hospital or making, you know, working at a soup kitchen making sandwiches or, you know, just reading to children at, you know, at one of these the, the centers that are out there. Or maybe you got a house full of a garage full of stuff. We've been there, right? I guess. <laughs> A uh, garage full of stuff. You know, you can give that stuff away to a place like the Crisis um, Ministry Center where they allow people to shop for free. So think about, you know, how you can give back uh, to your community uh, because one day you're going to need somebody to help you. Um, and if we don't do our part, then that circle will never be able to complete. So anyway, that's our two cents for the day. Yeah. We are full of sawdust. And we put, do I still have paint on my hands? Are you painted up? We're, we're all painted up and dirty. So we're going to grab some lunch, get cleaned up, get cute, draw on my eyebrows. Because y'all see this? But you'll see these eyebrows? She has great eyebrows, but I don't really like her much. Because my eyebrows don't look that good in about an hour. So anyway, love y'all. See y'all soon. Right. Deuces. Deuces. Guys, it starts with us. Let me think. One, you can go cook at your local shelter. Two, you can go just anything that is laying around the house, go donate. You don't need it, right? Yes, right. And also, if you have books that your kids aren't reading or that you're not reading, go donate them or donate them to teachers. But I promise, guys, they will help. But it only starts with you.
So over here we have some red Ar Argentine shrimp. We're gonna take these and just put them in this bowl. We're gonna make like a little marinade for them. So the marinade is gonna have grapeseed oil. This is a good amount of grapeseed oil. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper. And then we have some scallions. We're gonna add some there. And then some garlic. And then lemon juice. And all these flavors are gonna combine and be very nice together. Especially this lemon, the citrus of it. Oh, it's gonna be so good, guys. I'm gonna put one more lemon. Okay. We're gonna give that a good stir. Wanna make sure all of it is nice and coated. And make sure for these shrimp, you wanna uh, devein them and take them out of their shell. Okay. And that's what the marinade should look like. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. Okay, now we're gonna go all the way to the end a little bit and start on our long time wrappers. So we have some long time wrappers here. Okay. 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 And we're gonna cut them in strips so we can make long time strips. Okay. We're gonna take this to our oil that we're making. We're gonna let those get nice and crispy. I want them to go a little slow. These will add a nice um, crunch and good, just like kind of like salty flavor a little bit to the dish. And with the one wrong time wrappers, you want to get them nice and golden brown. Looking good, they're almost done. Make sure they're nice and bubbly too. Okay, so those are ready. We're gonna go ahead and take those out. Nice and crunchy, guys. There we go. Back them at the bottom there. And with the mushrooms, you want to get them nice and brown. Add our onions. And when the onions are nice and tender, and the mushrooms, all the mushrooms are brown. That's when you know it's done. So the vegetables are ready to come out. And you can tell I didn't use any salt because our salt is going to be a, the flavor from our salt. Now I'm going to add a little bit of grapeseed oil to the pan. And this is going to be for our cabbage. So let's go 
go ahead and get our cabbage. And we're going to toss it out all by itself. Toss them in the same stew and we'll get the flavors from the other vegetables into the cabbage. So we're going to add garlic and scallions. about the sauce component, the flavor is also coming from the marinade from the shrimp. There you go. So guys, how was everyone's summer? Was it fun? Was it boring? Was it, was it an adventure? gonna just sit there for about five minutes. The shrimp are looking good, so I think it's time to go ahead and take those out. These smell so good. And you wanna actually get a nice good sear on the shrimp. And there we go, there's our shrimp. So our noodles are done. I'm gonna drain them. Those look good. water and it's cornstarch here. We're gonna pour our water in the cornstarch. And we're gonna mix the cornstarch and water up. So this helps the sauce thicken up. And then you want kind of like a consistency of milk. Now we're gonna give this a little stir over here. And then, we have some soy sauce. We're gonna stir that. We're gonna bring that soy to a boil. And then, when that gets to a boil, we're gonna add our brown sugar and Chinese spice sauce. To a boil, we're gonna stir it a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and add our brown sugar. So 
stir that up. And now we're going to add our Chinese fry spice. Give that a good stir. And we're gonna let that go to a boil and then we're gonna add our water and cornstarch mixture. Now we're gonna add our cornstarch mixture. And like I said, this is thick and for sauce, so you wanna make sure you keep stirring it so it doesn't get too thick. Now, it's getting nice and thick. Oh guys, this smells so good. Do you really get the five spice? That's, that's really what all the flavors come together and it'll kind of smell like five, Chinese five spice. Okay, that's done. Now let's build our noodle bowl. So, we're gonna go a little light on the noodles. About that much. I'm gonna throw out the pan. And we're gonna go a little heavy on the vegetables. There we go. And then we're gonna add uh, some cabbage in there. And then our shrimp. Shrimp. And then a little bit of sauce goes a long way, so don't put a lot, just put a little. And this is thick too. Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of sesame seeds. And then some scallions. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it back on the heat and stir it up. On high heat. And then just stir it all together. So this is a great meal for all the moms out there, um, or dads. Uh, they can make this and um, kind of set it aside and you separate it like I did. And then your, if you have friends coming over or your kids, you could always just let them take whatever they want, like how much vegetables, shrimp, or you can eat like a steak or something like that. And you can have like a noodle bowl night. So uh, I think this is nice and done. Come over, it's nice and ready. Give it a And now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything in the bowl. Make sure you get your shrimp on there. Okay, and then don't forget about our wonton strips. I'm gonna put some on top.
you like today's show. And don't forget, go volunteer in your community. So, hit me up on Facebook. Tell me what you're doing. You know, if you're doing anything in your community, tell me so we can do it together. And you can reach me on Facebook at Chef Victoria Elizabeth. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at Chef Victoria Elizabeth. And to learn more things about the show, go to victoriacooks.com. But guys, my new website is coming soon, I promise. And also, if you miss anything in the show or you want to see it again, go to youtube.com slash Victoria's Kitchen. So see you next time. Bye.